What's up, everyone? How are things going? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here, and man, do I have an exciting, surprising review and reveal today. Not very often I can combine the two, but yeah, today I'm taking a detailed look at this brand new XL01 Starship vehicle as part of Mattel's Lightyear 5-inch scale action figure collection. A lot of you out there probably had no idea that this was coming. I didn't even have a single clue that this was hitting stores. As I talked about in one of my recent Lightyear Toy News videos, though, I did see a small clue that this could be coming at some point from an image I saw on Instagram from the Mexico premiere of Lightyear, I believe, but that's it. I didn't know when, if ever, it would get released, and then boom, here I am reviewing it. I was just doing a routine toy check at Walmart a few nights ago, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this. I almost had to do a double take. It's a rare treat these days to stumble upon something at the store that I didn't already know was out there. Nowadays, I feel like I either stumble upon images online myself, or other collectors find certain new products first, and then they share them with me on social media, or I see it on eBay or something, but not this time. This was like the old days when I was a kid toy hunting, back when there was more of the element of surprise, never knowing which new toys would be there. So anyway, this is part of the Walmart exclusive Crystal Grade side series of figures, and as I've talked about here before, don't let the Crystal Grade branding throw you off. It's all part of the same Mattel Lightyear 5-inch scale action figure collection. The Crystal Grade figures and now vehicles don't differ in quality from the main line. There's really nothing special about them. It's just Walmart's little branch off assortment kind of themed around the crystallic fuel, which plays a large role in the film. Moving along, to touch on the packaging real quick, the box looks excellent. Striking window presentation, similar to the XL15 vehicle. This time though, we got the crystal grade logo in the corner and the purple design elements that go with that. On the side here, it shows all of the figures released so far under the crystal grade banner, all of which I already reviewed in my crystal grade figure review video, so be sure to check out that video if you haven't already by hitting the card above. On the top of the box, it shows all of the contents included here with the set. No figure included this time, just the pieces to the ship and a crystal fuel cell. Here's a quick peek underneath the box for anyone interested. Now on this side, we have some photos highlighting some of the ship's features, like an opening cockpit, a slot on the side of the ship where you can insert the fuel cell into, that's really cool, and retractable landing gear. Very awesome stuff. Next up, here's the fantastic back of the box, showing off more of the fun and excitement that's to be had with this. Mostly highlighting the same features that were just on the side of the box, like the landing gear, opening cockpit, and fuel cell slot. Um, but then it also shows the best feature in action, in my opinion, the battle damage crash and explode fly-off panels, which also ejects the fuel cell out of the ship, all with the press of a button. And here are the three individually carded crystal grade buzz figures once again. And that is it for the packaging, everyone. So let's go ahead and get this beast all opened up, shall we? Just slides out easily like this so you can preserve the integrity of most of the box. And here it is, everyone, attached to the cardboard backing, of course, which I'll remove in a sec. But yeah, I love this ship, guys. It's so stinking cool, and I'm so happy Mattel didn't stop at the XL15 ship for the 5-inch scale. Now we have this one, possibly my favorite of the test flight ship designs, by the way, and then the XL07 coming soon as well, so we still have that one to look forward to. So let's just twist off the three little plastic doodads here, and bam, the ship is released and things are looking just so awesome so far. There are just a few quick little one-time assembly pieces to attach, so I'll go ahead and do that. Just gotta pop on the nose like this, snaps right in there, nice and secure. Here's the XL01 tail fin, I think you'd call it. I don't know the proper jet or spacecraft terminology, but that sounds right to me. That just plugs in on top like this, symbol stuff. The included fuel cell gets inserted into the side like this. You'll feel it snap into place, and there, we're good to go. Lastly, let's put on the exploding panels, starting here with this one. I find things fit on the easiest when you insert the back of the panel first, and then push down the front like this. You'll feel it snap, so all good there with that one. Let's move on to the next one. Insert the back first, and then front. Everything is working perfect so far. No hassle whatsoever. And here it is, the completed ship all assembled. Won't take you very long, not more than a minute or two to get this thing ready for action. And yeah, again, this is such a sweet vehicle, guys. The only feature I feel is missing, other than maybe some lights and sounds, is like a couple firing missiles or something, since that's always fun. But hey, the XL15 ship has that already, so I really can't complain. And this ship does have some other really cool features. I love what's called destruction play. That's an industry term, meaning toys like this with pop-off panels or other similar action features to simulate battle damage. It's just such a fun way to amp up the action and adds so much play value. These are action figures after all, right? 
But yeah, continuing on with my all around look, things are looking really good. Love the cockpit, the clear canopy, and that it opens up, which I'll show in a minute. The overall sculpted detailing here is more or less spot on, it seems, when comparing this toy to what's seen on screen in the film. Maybe proportionate to Buzz, the ship looks a bit bigger and longer in the movie, but really, this is a great toy representation, and I'm not really seeing any major flaws. As far as paint ops, very minimal is done here again, as we've come to expect in this line. Um, looks like some red markings are missing on the sides here, but other than that, the coloring and details seem pretty perfect. Again, like I always say, toy customizers will have a ball with this. The sculpt is already solid. Now just give it a black wash and that'll add that realistic weathering so many collectors out there are looking for. The back exhaust port looks really cool. Underneath here we got the retractable landing gear. Three wheels pop out like this. You gotta do it manually though. Um, now the only slight downside to this feature is that the wheels are just molded on and don't actually roll, but that's ultimately forgivable since everything else here is just so good. Here you go, here's a close up of one of the wheels, just so you can get a better sense. And man, love that side profile. It's just a super sleek, neat ship. And I will say the toy feels sturdy. This thing doesn't feel like it's gonna break on you during any kind of normal play. And here's how the cockpit opens. I'll get the mainline XL01 Buzz soon and test out how he fits. In the meantime though, here's a closer look at the inside controls. Now here we have it on the table with the other three single carded crystal grade Buzz figures for comparison. And as far as size, this XL01 ship measures right around 21 inches long. And like I said, boom, of course I had to grab XL01 Buzz here to help demonstrate the opening cockpit feature. All right, so we just open things up here like this. And looks like Buzz fits in perfectly without any need for squeezing or jamming him in there. Gotta love that. Okay, let's go ahead and close things up. And now Buzz is officially ready for his first ever test flight. Of course, things aren't gonna go as planned though, and there's gonna be some destruction. So now for my favorite feature, the pop-off panels. Just press the button here in the middle and boom. Aw oh, yeah, let's do it again for kicks. And one last time. Ha, love it. And it was hard to see from those angles, so I'll just show you here. When the panels fly off, the fuel cell goes shooting out as well. Cool, right? And by the way, in case you were wondering, this feature is also compatible with any of the fuel cells included with the other figures in this line. They're all the same shape and size. Speaking of the fuel cell, here's the one that comes with this set. So this is very similar to the one that comes with the mainline XL01 Buzz Lightyear single carded figure, but it is slightly different as you'll see in a sec when I compare them. But what I thought was interesting is that Mattel went with their not quite as cool version here for this set that has the crystal just kind of molded onto the clear plastic window. It's not an actual sculpted crystal in there, as you can tell. It's essentially just 2D, just a little raised to give some slight dimension. To show you what I mean, coming in on the right here is the fuel cell that comes with the crystal grade XL09 Buzz. And you can see inside that it's an actual 3D tangible crystal sculpt in there, which I think is quite a bit cooler. It's a neat effect that makes things look like the crystal is really floating in there since it almost kind of is. I understand though that the flat version is maybe cheaper and easier to produce which is probably why they went with that here with the XL1 ship. And then one more fuel cell comparison for you. This XL01 vehicle version is on the left, and the one that comes with the single carded XL01 Buzz figure is on the right. And as you can tell, even though they both use the flat crystal effect, they are different. This new version on the left has space under the handle, as you can see, while the original version on the right does not. The crystals also look a bit different, and this new version has a slightly different shade of blue. Now to check out all the crystal fuel cells that have been released so far, from left to right we have this XL01 vehicle version, and then the one that comes with the mainline XL01 Buzz figure, and then the one that comes with the crystal grade Clash Pack, then the crystal grade XL09 Buzz, the crystal grade XL12 Buzz, and lastly the crystal grade Space Ranger Alpha Buzz. Well, I think that absolutely covers it all, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the brand new XL01 ship that's just starting to hit stores now. So definitely run, don't walk to your nearest Walmart to snag this for your Lightyear 5-inch scale figure collection. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Kids will have an absolute blast while playing with this, and I'm sure collectors will certainly wanna add this to their display. I mean, how could you not, right? And at $32.97, I'd say it's a totally fair price as well, at least for these days, right? And as of this recording, it's not in stock on Walmart's website, but there is a listing up so I'll go ahead and drop that link down in the description. So what do you guys think? Have you or will you be picking this one up? And were you as surprised to learn about this release as I was? As always, I'm anticipating your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed today's review, I hope you'll consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar toy news, reviews, and toy hunts. Find me all over social media at DanThePixarFan, and I will catch you all in my next video.